In today's video, we're comparing old versus new and big versus small. The Canon 80D versus the Osmo Pocket. We're going to be doing a video test with these two camera systems to see which one performs the best and is most relevant for 2019. Let's roll that intro. Welcome to Ben's Guide, your guide to the best news, reviews, and how-tos from the world of photography and video. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell to join our growing community of photography lovers. In today's video, we're going to be getting hands-on with both camera systems, testing autofocus, features, image quality, and a bunch of other characteristics. We're going to be comparing them against each other to see which ones perform best and which ones are most relevant for you. Let's start with the Osmo Pocket. This little guy has a great little autofocus feature, which is face tracking. This enables you to track the face of your subject as you're video recording. But there's been an update in April, which is actually currently this month, and it's apparently made it significantly better. So we're going to be testing this autofocus system with face tracking against the Canon 80D. Okay, so first up, I wanted to show you visually what it looks like with the face tracking on. You can see that the box surrounds a subject's face and keeps easy autofocus all the way around. Now, of course, this looks a little bit different when you look through the Osmo Pocket because you don't have the box. As you can see now, this is the footage straight out the Osmo Pocket. And what's really good is there's no hunting and there's no pulsing to find focus. It just stays locked on the subject's face. Probably the best feature about this autofocus is the distance that you can keep the focus locked on the subject's face. We tracked it up to nearly 20 meters. This is amazing and it's so much better than it was before the recent update. Next, we want to see how quickly we can lock on tracking to the subject's face. So coming straight out of this little tunnel here, you can see that we're able to track the face very quickly, but you do have to do this manually, whereas the Canon does this on its own. Now it's time for the Canon 80D. Now we all have heard about the dual pixel autofocus and how reliable it is. And I wasn't really expecting to see any revolutionary changes, but you can see that the autofocus is very good. One thing that I was really disappointed about and surprised that I hadn't figured out earlier though, is that you can't track the face automatically from any further than about 12 to 15 feet. This was a big shock to me, as the Osmo Pocket can do this from further away. With this test, we wanted to see how quickly we could automatically lock onto the subject's face. Now the Canon 80D does a good job of this, and you have to do this manually with the Osmo Pocket. Video quality is super important. Now, of course, you're only gonna have the video quality that your camera can produce. But if you're a video creator, if you're a YouTuber, or you're creating nice little short films or whatever it is, you wanna be doing the best job you can and creating the best visual experience for your audience. First off, we're gonna test the Osmo Pocket with 24 frames per second. We're then gonna test this against the Canon 80D to see if it performs as well in this frame rate. Now, the reason we've chosen this frame rate is because it's one of the most common used amongst video creators. This is because you get nice cinematic looking footage when using this frame rate. Okay, first up is the Osmo Pocket, so let's test it out. Okay, so looking back at the footage of the Osmo Pocket 1080p at 24 frames per second, the first thing I could see is that the footage is slightly underexposed. Now this is probably better than having it overexposed because it's easier to bring back the shadows than it is to bring back from blown out highlights. But the color is also exaggerated slightly and a bit more vibrant than you see in the scene. But overall, the footage is good quality. This is the Canon 80D. Now straight off the bat, you can see that we're dealing with the light and the darks in the video a lot better. It's a lot more balanced and a lot more even exposure. Also, the color is a lot more natural, and this is something you expect to receive from the Canon 80D. This is because you have great color science coming straight out the camera. Next up, I wanted to take a look at the 4K 
in the Osmo Pocket. This is at 24 frames per second. Now, as you can see, the exposure, strangely, is a lot better. I'm not quite sure why that is, but I do know that the image color that you can see here is definitely more exaggerated. It's definitely more vibrant in this video you're seeing now than I was experiencing on the actual day. But I will say one thing, this 4K footage on the Osmo Pocket is really very good considering you're getting this from such a small sensor. And it's certainly something that I would consider using for vlogging. This is now a low light test. I thought I'd go down in one of the dark holes and see how the Osmo Pocket performed. As you can see, you've got a bit of noise in the background here, and the Osmo Pocket does a good job considering the sensor size to actually find light in the scene. Let's bring it over to the other side, and as you can see once again, it takes a few seconds, but then it lightens the scene. Let's have a look at the Canon 80D. Straight away, you can see a significant difference between the low light performance on the Canon 80D and the Osmo Pocket you have a lot better exposure and low light performance. And this is really to be expected with the bigger sensor that you have on the Canon 80D. I know some people watching this video will really like to have a bunch of different features on their camera system, giving them more options to play around with and more settings to dial in their perfect video settings. The Osmo Pocket is packed full of features. It has so many for such a small little camera system. You have 1080p at 24, 30, 60, and 120 frames per second. You also have 4K in 24, 30, and 60 frames per second. This means you can even get some really beautiful slow motion B-roll in 4K. You have a time-lapse feature you also have slow motion modes built in. You can shoot in a flat video profile as well. The camera on the Osmo Pocket is connected to a gimbal. This means that you can produce smooth cinematic footage. Now this is gonna cost you a large sum of money to buy separately if you're using a mirrorless or a DSLR camera. On the flip side of this, you have the Canon 80D. Now this camera gives you less features, but you do still have great quality. You have 1080p in 24, 30 and 60 frames per second. So you still have that option for nice slow motion B-roll. You also get that beautiful color science that all Canon cameras have built in. You have the quite brilliant dual pixel autofocus on the 80D, which is fast and reliable. This will not let you down. You have a time-lapse feature built in, and you also have the option to shoot in a flat profile. So you can color grade your footage after. Now I've made a video showing you how to shoot in a flat profile. So if you're serious about getting the best video with your Canon 80D, then you can check that out above my head right now. Now what you don't have on the Canon 80D is stabilization, which is a shame because this would really make the camera incredibly good. So if you want to get the camera stabilized when shooting video footage, you've got two options. You can either buy stabilized lenses, which is gonna give you a little bit more stabilized video footage, but not too much. Otherwise, you're gonna be looking at buying a gimbal. Now this could set you back anywhere in the range of 200 all the way through to 2000 plus pound. So it's a lot of money to spend separate from the camera plus lenses. Okay guys, here we have it. I wanna sum this up now. The Canon 80D is a great camera. Now it has some brilliant features, including fantastic autofocus. It has amazing, beautiful color science to give you accurate and beautiful colors in your video. And it's just a really reliable camera. What it's not though is portable and it does lack some of the features that you get with the Osmo Pocket. But overall, in the quality of the camera and the video, it's still a little bit better. Of course, you have that option with the Osmo Pocket to shoot in 4K, and that does give you just that extra little bit if you wanna shoot with a high resolution. The Osmo Pocket, on the other hand, is just ram-packed full of features. It's cheap, it's portable, it has everything you need for video creation. And to be honest with you, for the price range, it's completely unrivaled 
by any other camera on the market. Well, saying that, there is the GoPro Hero 7, but that's kind of for a different market. If you have any questions at all about the Canon 80D or the Osmo Pocket, then just drop me a question in the comment section below the video and I can jump into that after the video and we can talk about it. I'm really grateful for you guys coming onto the channel today, watching this video. And if you're new here, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. This just means you'll get access to new videos every single week. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, I hope it's a great one and I'll see you in the next video.